One Hungry Box Dabidma is arguably the best Super Smash Bros. Melee player in the world right now. However, despite a legendary 2019 tournament run in which he ended up at the top of the Melee MPGR rankings, HBox entered Summit 9 this year with something to prove. His sixth place finish at the previous year's Summit was a black mark in his otherwise gold addled year and hot off a close loss in the grand finals of Genesis to newcomer Zane just a few weeks earlier, the Puff Master was vying to assert his dominance once again. Hungry Box battled his way out of pools on winner's side, not even dropping a single game in any of his matches. He was the sole player at Summit to pull off a clean sweep, no small feat considering how stacked the competition was. His first opponent in the finals bracket was none, one of the only two Captain Falcon players in the tournament. HBox took game one fairly decisively, but narrowly lost the second to none's strong play. I hope that he's oh! not freaking out. I hope none's not freaking out. Wobble would have pressed down on the B button and would have killed him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, upper into knee could be a thing. If it... Oh! oh he... That's or... the second time he's flying with a knee. He's finding yeah. those openings. Not to be outdone, the Premier Puff player made the necessary adjustments, and after another close tooth and nail game, emerged victorious in the third and final round with a comfortable two stock advantage. Next up was Hungry Box's perennial rival, Mango, whom he had previously defeated in pools in an absolute shutout of a match. Things went similarly well for HBox this time around. After stumbling in the first match, the champ went on to sweep the next three with minimal difficulty. Those kind of like sharking up bears are so... Oh! oh, and he misses the tech, but... Oh my, oh, oh HBox is on top of oh, it. Oh, and he misses oh, this ledge dash. The last player standing between HBox and the apex of Summit was Plup his old doubles partner and an incredibly talented player in his own right. Their encounter in winner's finals was a neck and neck, with Plup taking two of the first three games and putting HBox on the verge of being knocked down to losers. Right now, it's up smash or back here at 130. He's gonna no. grind out three more. Oh, but not with that DI. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god, he god. HBox. That was pixels. Oh my god, what is he doing? Some smart adaptations and a switch back to Battlefield, often believed to be Jigglypuff's home field advantage, allowed HBox to clutch out the set, however, taking him to grand finals still undefeated. Oh, no, how, how is it that not it? It's not it! What happened? Oh, shit, what what just happened? HBox dropped the edge guard, got hit by up B, and no. now we got a real. Oh, DI it though, you got the oh. You got a DI! But nothing could have prepared him for Plup to come roaring back from loser's side for one last bout. With newfound momentum, the younger player crushed HBox in the initial match, resetting the bracket and forcing another best of three to determine the champion. Close it in four. HBox mm -hmm. at 60%. Oh, smash. Oh. That was a confirm. I was not expecting the set uh -oh. to go uh -oh. like this. Uh -oh. He can't rest it. Yeah, rest is off the table at this percent. But he's good doing attack, a lot of damage. Hungrybox can totally bring Ooh. this back, but Plup finding an up smash. Armed with data from his only lost set of the tournament, HBox managed to turn the tables in the run back. The subsequent four matches were tight, including one of the most nail-biting stocks in Melee history. What is we actually backers, happening? We what is start actually killing happening? Soon, by the way. <laughs> Any strong hit will do it. Any weak hit will do it. Oh my goodness. What did he hit him with? It popped. Oh! Plop just running at Hungry Box. No! Why did but ultimately, the brawl for Summit was won by the one and only Puff Daddy, Hungry Box.